so you'll be able to see as people. Yep. Like there's no the, one. There's like no one there right stream, now, but yeah. you'll see right here, and mm -hmm. people start commenting as they come in. C'est pour le Starlight Festival, comme les étoiles. Ouais. C'est à ça que tu as l'idée d'avoir des étoiles. Ouais. Yeah. Inventions. Inventions, yeah. Yeah, tout ça que tu as fait. Ça, c'est coquillage. Yeah. Yeah, c'est bon. Si on a un festival, ça donne l'occasion de monde à penser à des différentes idées. Yeah. Qui pense à pour yeah. autre chose. Yeah. Oui, oui, oui. Tout ce qu'on fait avec les étoiles. Oui. C'est bon. Tu as acheté des Yep. So everything in here, like all handmade stuff? Yes, all handmade. Mm. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Any followers yet? Yeah, we got a couple that are tuned in now. Good. I really like that. Mm. On peut faire comme différentes hauteurs. Mm, le plus yeah. gros à venir un uh, anneau qui est plus petit parce qu'on a seulement deux tailles. Ça peut prendre un bâton de fois de suite oui. avec différentes couleurs de poissons et tout. Mm. C'est pas Actually, je n'aime pas ça. What's for me, thank you more. Oui. Si tu es smart, tu peux faire. Ou tu peux venir l'acheter, c'est pas ça. C'est ça. <laughs> oui, tu peux venir à la boutique l'acheter. C'est bon. Oh, okay. Hi there. It's Charlene. I'm at the Musée Acadien de Pubnico West, and we would like to know if anybody can hear us. If you can, let us know. Everybody can hear us now? That's good. I see Renee Surrett has joined and somebody else. Come and join us. It's party time in the boutique. That one too was done for the Starlight Festival. Mm -hmm. Yes, in Northern can Lights. You say, can you see what it is? Well, I would say it's a Northern Lights. It is, yeah. So, all kinds yeah. of cool things in here. Yeah. So that was for the for the Starlight Festival. Different. We have cards and different things. Mm. It gives people an aim to to do something. Yes. The star themed as well. We also have uh, stars that are of uh, quilling. They're very nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. What do you mean? That paper quilling. Well, yeah, that's paper quilling. So really dainty work. Yeah. We have the other stars, like stars on the quilts and uh, different things like that. So it gives it a theme to work towards. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi everyone, I'm Charlene LeBlanc, I'm the Community Development Officer. I'm the Oprah for today. I was here last week at quarter past 12 and I'm here again. Um, today we're in West Pubnico across from the Fire Hall and we are at the Musée Acadien de Pubnico. 
and we are in the boutique and today is the day that the boutique opens. Yeah. With me I have Bernice Donfermont. She is the manager of the boutique and the musée. Hi Bernice. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, the sun is trying to peep out so that's wonderful for people to come in and see what we have to offer. It is. I saw you already had a tourist here this morning. Yes we did. We had people yeah. from Quebec. Nice. Nice couple that uh, were traveling and seeing different, they were in an RV, yeah. and yeah, so, yeah. yeah, we had people from Ontario also, so people come back, Ontario, good. so that's very people good. People are starting to come around. Right. That's good. So tell us about today. Today you have an opening? Yes, today is the opening. Um, it used to be, this part used to be the barn. Now mm -hmm. it has changed. It was a barn. It still is the barn of the museum, but we renovated the whole room when we did the expansion. Mm -hmm. And right now, we are opening this part of uh, the boutique. It's at 2 o'clock. We'll have the official opening. So I invite people to do come in and, and see what we have to offer. We still have, as you saw, we mm -hmm. still have the boutique in the inside, yes. inside. But this one is has a, a more of a purpose to display the quilts in the small Yes. But you, you can't display right. the quilts, uh, the yeah. beauty and yeah. what they have. So we'll still have the little boutique with yeah. it is jam packed with stuff. Oh it is. I was lots of articles, yeah. things to buy. And then here we have the display of uh, the quilts. So we found that people were coming in and they were saying, Oh, when is the quilt show which is yeah. at the church? Which is just for three days, yeah. so they wanted to, to see, see quilts. quilts. Yeah. So well, there, this is the place to see quilts if you're yeah. interested in quilts. I seen, so I seen there's a new quilts, but I seen some old ones. Yes. And uh, I was kind of surprised to see the old ones. I like the old ones, and um, I was wondering, like, how do you, how do you get your quilts? The quilts are people that bring in quilts. We do have some that we have quilted at the mm -hmm. museum so we have those but people either give us the old quilts yeah. that they don't want and uh, this way um, people are looking for heritage uh, vintage quilts uh, yeah. mostly people that would come from away yeah not people our people the, like the bright colors and yes, the yeah. beautiful pattern but the people from away the ones that have cottages Yes, the one yes, that yes. has a, yeah. a special little place, the ones that want to remember about their grandmother. Yeah. And um, so those quilts are, some are on consignment, mm -hmm. but some are ours. Are given to you to sell. Yes. Yeah. yes, there's a lot of quilts. I see everybody has their name and different prices right. on the quilts. And there's baby quilts and all kinds. All, all kinds, all colors, sizes, material, yeah. Different colors, yeah. Uh, all kinds. And uh, the reason is... Southwest Nova Scotia is very, very rich with quilts. It is. I suppose uh, I would like to see that part of Southwest Nova mm -hmm. Scotia being marketed because we do have a competition of hand quilting. Yes. I have people that do come in. When they come in, they know about the long arm machine quilting. Yes. Most of the people. Yeah. But here, it's mostly... People get together, family, yeah. they like the, the gathering and yes. the quilting yeah. in a group. Yeah. So here we still have the hand quilted and I think yeah. it will stay with our... Yeah. I know, well, I'm not that old, but I do belong to a, a quilt group, but actually I don't quilt mm -hmm. because uh, they let me try, but they told me not to put no knots. So <laughs> after I was done, they took it out. So yes. uh, I, make There's the, that too. I make the tea. Yes, and I'm good at that. We need all all the volunteers yeah. you can get. Um, so this way it yeah. shows with just one call, we have about uh, seventy or more quilts in this room. Yeah. So that and that's not much quilts. Yeah. Like this way, we even sometimes we have people that have ten, fifteen. I mean, oh yes, yeah. twenty. Endless supplies, huh? Yeah, endless. Yeah. It's unbelievable how much work that has been done. Yeah. Uh, so we feel that it's our duty to display them. 
That's right. And people bring them on consignment. They're all beautiful, yeah. all different colors, um, yeah. hand quilted. It's uh, lots it's an of art. work. It, it, it is, really an is an art. Um, I have to mention the sign outside because yes. I hadn't seen it before. There's a big sign on the top of the boutique, and it says the couverture, the quilts, and yes. it's a big. It's a big quilt. It's right. nice. Where did you get that sign? Okay, that sign is, is a pattern. Uh, right now I forgot what the name of yeah. the pattern was, but it is a, pa a quilt pattern. Okay. So we had it done by um, Speedy Autograph, Richard, John yeah. Tremont, nice. that did that. And then underneath we added quilts, yeah. uh, couverture, piqué à vendre, yeah, uh, nice. quilts for sale. So uh, we do have, uh, uh, last week there was a couple from Ontario mm -hmm. going by. So she said to her husband, quilts, I see, yeah. I have to stop. Yeah. Nice. So we're hoping that tourists will see the sign. Yes, and beautiful sign. We'll, this way we'll be able to show the work that's being done. And it is very, um, people can also do quilting. Like this yes. afternoon, there's a quilt in the museum mm -hmm. and people can sit and yes. do the quilting. So for us, it was an easy transition to right. to have the quilts there, which is mm -hmm. a pastime that we do not want to forget. Yes, yes. And then this way, uh, with the quilts on display, it mm -hmm. really um, helps the community. Each lady, if they sell a quilt, will yeah, have sure. that amount of money. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been here on Thursdays before, and uh, I didn't quilt, because I don't quilt, I did bring my knitting when I came yes. and sat with the ladies and had a really good time. Yeah. So um, there's not only quilting, there's other things. Oh, People yes. Do crochet. They were doing rug hooking, right. that paper quilling. Mm, yeah. They were knitting. Yes, uh, doing all kinds of things. All the little uh, towels uh, with the Acadian flag. Yes. Uh, all yes. Of the those. dishcloths yeah, were amazing. All of those. Um, this, this room, I know you can't see everything, but it, there's, there's plenty of quilts, but there's pictures and there's trinkets and all kinds of arts and crafts and uh, before we proceed too far I'm not going to look at the tag but I do have this it's uh, some beads and there's a thimble on the end and my question is what is it which Bernice asked me what it was so I kind of thought maybe it was something religious so I counted maybe 10 Hail Marys or something but it's not what it is and uh, anybody who wants to send us their idea what this little thing is I'm guessing maybe a Christmas ornament. No, not a Christmas ornament. It has a, has a, purpose? a sewing purpose, yes. This has a sewing purpose? Yes. Wow. It goes with sewing. I mean, you can't sew with that, but it goes with that part of. Yeah, it's very That's nice. interesting. The other thing that I'm uh, going to show and purchase on my way out is this little guy. He's really cute. Yeah. Has the Acadian uh, colors. Has the Acadian colors. But in a different way. In a different way. We do have, behind, we do have uh, the uh, Acadian flags and uh, Evangeline and all of those. Yeah. Yes. A lot of knitted socks, a lot of knitted mittens, pictures. There's a beautiful uh, tree made with driftwood with a blue fish on top that's absolutely gorgeous. I thought about the... Reproducing it, but I don't think anybody home is crafty enough. I might have to come back and buy that too. Yeah. And there's even rocks that are painted and a lot of things. So what are you going to do all summer, Furnace? What am I going to do? Well, it's very busy. It's uh, definitely after the opening, mm -hmm. uh, which people can come and see today. And it's free. There's no cost for people to come in. And they'll have tea to yes. be served with tea and coffee and cake. Uh, after that, we are uh, definitely looking for our next event, which mm -hmm. will be uh, Aboriginal Day, yes. which is a very big event, which uh, the, um, the Métis of the area and the Acadians yes. have a history. So on, it's going to be June the 21st, mm -hmm. and this year, because school goes later in the year, yes. uh, we'll be able to have students oh, nice. that will be coming from the Pumniko school. So we have four classes, which is in itself a challenge it is. trying it's a small space so trying yeah. to divide them to so yes. uh, we'll have uh, Chesley with uh, mm -hmm. the drums and nice. Jacqueline will be doing um, the part of uh, the songs yes, and different yeah. things yeah. so baskets also and all yeah. with the garden so nice. that's very exciting what do you got planned for Canada Day Canada Day do I have to tell you no 
You can keep it a secret if you want. No. I'm pretty excited over Canada right. Day. I've been for a whole year. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's a big it's a big event. So we'll old. have a, a big it's going to be like um like a part of what canvas. Yeah. And it's going to be like a tree. So at, uh, we're asking people to bring in a button. Yeah. If you don't have a button, we can sell you a button. So we're trying to put 150 buttons, different colors, different shapes, mm -hmm. better if it's flat. Yes. If it's not flat, it's hard to stick on that canvas. So everybody will be able to, to put, a put a button. And if we have more than 150 people, well, we'll have two canvases. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm so bringing a button for sure. Bring a button. And yes. different sizes, different colors. Nice. Uh, so that's one of the things that we're having for the 150th. And then we're having uh, Paul Sonier and the group of ladies that are the Camara. Yes. They're going Christ to entertain. No, I'm not saying it right. The ladies. Yes. With <laughs> three ladies that are, will be uh, singing. Yeah. And we'll have a cake and we'll have the people invited that will do the speeches and sounds great yeah so enjoy the music so do i bring my button on on canada day the, yes okay so it's an event for that canada day i'll have to come for sure yes my button. and then we'll also have uh, some artists that will be doing some painting so hmm. i'm not sure if their theme will be to do yeah. with canada day but they will be uh painting if it's nice enough they mm -hmm. might be outside in the garden. So I invite any artists that would like to do and come and do some painting. Oh, They're nice. very welcome to do so. Nice. So, Good yeah, idea. we're quite excited about uh, that. And then, of course, um, we'll, the, the canvas will have Canada 150. Yeah. So then that will be the part. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, what's your favorite part of your job? My favorite part? Definitely meeting the tourists. Yeah. Oh, like these people from Quebec, uh, very nice. Um, they knew their genealogy. Mm -hmm. We do have a genealogy center, which mm -hmm. you can find. They were not interested yes. in the Acadian part because most of our genealogy is about uh, the Acadians, mm -hmm. even though with a database of over uh, 98,000 names all linked together, there's yeah. quite a few names, so they're not all Acadians yeah. in that database, yeah. but uh, they knew their descendants from France. Did they, they? Uh, yeah, they knew their their history. They yes. had already stopped in the Annapolis area. Um, oh. Yeah, they knew that the Dugal was not the same as what he had in his line. Uh, very nice people, nice to talk to, mm -hmm. wants to learn about the history, and that's what our museum is all about. Yeah, yeah, the the people. That's what it's all, all about. Right. So Acadians, I yeah. love traveling to all these places with all with with all the tourists that do come in. Mm -hmm. um, they had been to Grand Pre. They knew it was a UNESCO site. They knew the dike system. Yes, uh, but yeah. you can always, when you see the whole big picture, you don't really look at all the little things. So we do have a dike system. So it has. Um, uh, a clapper door. Yeah. So I said, okay, which side do you think the clapper door goes? There's it's a special technique. Mm -hmm. So it has to be either on the marshland or on the ocean part. Yeah. Well, you know about the dike system, but those little little things that we have at this museum are the things that stay with the families. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's and they were very impressed with the work, uh, especially the paintings that we have. Yeah. The paintings are paintings of local mm -hmm. local area, mm -hmm. and they were very impressed with uh, yeah. the work that the people there's did. A, there's a tons of beautiful things inside, right. and I brought Scott Muse, gave him a little quick tour before we come into this room and showed him all the carvings that uh, Richard Dockermore had made, yes. and how they looked if they looked just like feathers and wood carvings, right. and all the cameras, and right. we saw the the most famous camera that you have here, yeah. the one that the German spies yeah. used, and yeah. uh, I I love the the straw yeah. bed, actually. Yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah then, I, I love everything in and here. And uh, people enjoy uh, the names that we have in yes. one room. 
that goes uh, from 1653 yeah. to today. And uh, you, if you have Acadian descent, you can certainly yeah. uh, find yourself there. And yeah. it's interesting. Uh, people want to know where the Acadian went. Mm -hmm. We just talk about the area, this mm -hmm. the Pumnico. So the Acadians here went to Walpole, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. So that's the part that we talk about. And these people from Quebec, um, they knew, uh, they wanted to know how the people got to Louisiana. So there's always yeah. something that comes up that you talk about. And of mm -hmm. course, uh, right this uh, season, we have, we've always had red work, yes. which is a quilt, which is different uh, embroidery made in red. And this year, yes. we have one that dates back 1899. 1900 wow. and we have done all the genealogy of all the people one of the ladies is my grandmother my grandmother yeah. on my father's side was Alma Amiru mm -hmm. so okay I've seen her picture yeah. but that's about it so on that quilt there's all the different um, the pick the, yeah. the curve the yeah. demo so cards, different things with cards. So I'm asking, did she like to play cards? Yeah. My father didn't like to play cards. That's interesting. My mother yeah. is not that generation, mm -hmm. that, that time frame. But I'm sure she liked to play cards. Like yeah. if you take Tante Martinez at yes, that yes. place, they always played cards. Yes, yeah. Um, I do remember her. Actually. Right. Yeah. So if you take it, that family, yes. that family liked to play cards. So I'm sure. That's that, what. The, yeah. The cards yeah. Were I'm sure she liked to play cards. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's an inside thing mm -hmm. that I wouldn't have known otherwise. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah there's it's always nice to learn about your ancestors right? and what they did. Yeah. And, yeah. and the, I know a bit about my father's side, but my mother comes from a Rogerson Lane in, in England, which yes. I know nothing other than probably the people are beautiful. I mean, a half Rogerson, half Acadian, how can you not be mm -hmm. good looking? Just like Vernus, it's like ageless. <laughs> it's the fog yeah. or the Acadian heritage, I forget. Yes. Yeah, just doing the trick. Yeah. It was nice uh, chatting with you today. Yes, thank you so much for coming in, and I'm glad. We'll be back again. Okay, thank you. So what is your little thing about that? Oh, you didn't oh, yes. answer that? What is this? Did somebody answer what this was? Nope. This is a scissor fob. A scissor fob. Yeah, it's, that's what it says, but I don't know what a fob is. Ah. This is a scissor fob. So if anybody is looking for a scissor fob, uh, you can come here and get one. Actually, this is really cute. Who made this? Uh, her name is uh, Beatrice. Um, I'm not sure if she's a Murphy. Yeah. And she does those little things. She also did the one, the Pumnico little pillow there. Yes, yes. Yeah. So lots of people that are uh, quilting, uh, doing crafts, know what you do with that. You put it on your scissors. Yes. So you attach it this way mm -hmm. on your yes, scissors. Yes. Then you'll always be able to find your scissors. Yes, I guess I could. It's really nice. I love the thimble. You should get one for your mother, Scott. Yeah, I could. <coughs> it's nice. Beautiful. Thanks. I'll hit the finish.